What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. In today's video we are going to be doing something different. We're going to be doing a two-in-one in one video here. We're going to be starting off in the very beginning with a small and short European rabbit guide here on Bush Rangers Run because Bush Rangers is the new best map to find European rabbits in my opinion because of this method and I'll explain here in a little bit. Now the second part of this video is going to be our whitetail grind for the 200 whitetail so um Whichever part you want to stick for, I'll put that in timestamp down below in the description. So if you guys want to skip to the whitetail one, that'll be in there. Or if you want to, you know, stick around for the whole thing, because the giveaway is actually going to be in this video. So make sure you keep an eye out for the word, and make sure you send me the message in Discord if you want to be eligible for the 1000 EM giveaway. So, yeah, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and say, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and leave a like. They're much appreciated. And yeah, let's get started. So for starters, for this method, you're going to need three things, three essential things to make this hunt a lot easy. So you're going to need a weapon, of course, of your choice. Preferably, I choose the 17 HMR because it has the great range and um, it's not very loud. So if you're hunting anything else on this map. Second, you're going to want a German pointer. Okay. Now, you don't have to have a German pointer for this. But this is the absolute best method to find European rabbits. Fast. And then you're going to want a tripod, too, so you don't spook them. So, I like to start over at the other lodge here and then fast travel to the western lodge because this entire side is just going to be European rabbit right here. Pretty much split the map right down the middle, diagonal-wise, like that. So... Basically, we're going to be targeting this northern region here. Now, I will show you the exact reason why you bring the German pointer here. Now, I say this on Bush Rangers. You can do this on Val de Bois, too, okay? But the only downside to doing it on Val is the German pointer has a feature. Let me bring him over here real quick. So, the German pointer has a feature. Oh, he's right at my feet. So has a feature where it can track rabbits and birds okay well what does Val de Bois have it has wood grouse so that's gonna be your only error in running this um, this strat for um, European rabbits is you're gonna have your pointer actually go after the wood grouse instead of the rabbits well on bush rangers you don't have wood grouse on this map you don't have any birds so it's gonna go strictly for rabbits so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and send Apex after the rabbits. And he's going to indicate at that bottom left corner the dog icon with the exclamation mark. That means he's on an active track to a rabbit. Alright guys, my dog has found the dens for us. Do you see how it showed that little warning icon at the bottom left? That means I am closing in on the animal. And he should show the other icon that I was talking about earlier he should actually start pointing right now see that little icon with the exclamation mark and the pointing of the dog that means he is on it he is pointing at the den so it looks like we got some dens right here around us let's go ahead and locate these dens also another useful tip is if you spooked them into the dens run over the top of the den for some reason it resets the rabbits so like you might be hidden, but they'll come out momentarily, and then they'll just dart right back into the den. So basically what I like to do is, I'll, I'll call my dog away from him. I'll call my dog away from him. And then I'll have him come over here a little bit. And then I'll have him lay down. And then I'll have him stay. And it looks like there's a rabbit running back to the den right now. I don't know if we're going to get a shot on this guy. And we did indeed. We dropped that Euro on the spot. Very nice. Let's go ahead and pick up this European rabbit real quick. Got a 1.3 male. 1, 2, 5, 8. Go ahead and take a trophy shot of this guy. Alright, quick trophy shot after that rabbit. Now, after you shoot one rabbit, I would, like I said, I recommend you at least run across the dens. Or at least one of them. Run across it. It'll reset it. It's weird, but it works. And we're going to find some high ground here. 
We're going to put our tripod up. Most of the time, you're going to have to be quick on these rabbits and make sure you don't shoot them where they're going to, and they fall into the den. Otherwise, you won't be able to get them. So we're going to have our dog lay down. And he should stay. And as you can see, that rabbit just came out of the den over there. So we're going to take a couple more of these rabbits here so I can show you hunting out of the tripod. Just kind of got to watch and see which den they come out of. You just have to be really fast if you want to shoot them before they go back in there. Okay, we got lucky on that one that he didn't fall into the den. Now, if you guys are ever curious, and you don't know that if you've shot all the rabbits or anything around the dens, what you guys can do, so go ahead and pick up this rabbit over here. Obviously, if, if you hear him getting in and out of the den, but we're going to go ahead and pick up this rabbit. We got a 1.7 male, 1671. So, another indicator is tracks, like obviously, but what you can do is, is you can actually send your dog after the, uh, the rabbits once again. And if he starts to point, that will tell you that there's still rabbits around in the area, or at least in the dens. So there's another rabbit right there. I can't really see him because of the grass. But we should be able to get an outline here in a second. And just like that, we got another rabbit down. We're going to go ahead and pick up the tripod because I believe that was the last rabbit of the den here. If I'm not mistaken. But we'll go ahead and check. Because I just wanted to make this guide relatively short and show you guys an easy method on finding and hunting these guys for comps and stuff. Let's go and pick up our third Euro and we got 1.6 at 1597 so pretty average. Alright guys I think that's going to be it for the first portion of the video in this rabbit, short rabbit guide. Now a bonus tip for this is if you guys aren't sure if that's the last rabbit in the colony you can actually send your pointer over and if you see that icon at the bottom left and if he starts to point towards any of the burrows, that means there's more rabbits still inside the burrows. So, another tip for you guys in order to take out all the rabbits in the colony. But let's go ahead and hunt what I tell, and I'll see you guys over there. Alright guys, we are on Rugaru Bayou here. I've been getting this request quite frequently to do a guide for Whitetail on this map. So why not kill two birds with one stone? Even better, we're going to do the 200 Whitetail grind on this map. So I'm going to be showing you the best location also to place a tent for whitetails on Rugaru Bayou. So let's get on with it. All right, guys, we are probably about 600 meters away from the tent. Maybe a little bit less than that. But I decided to pop my tree stand up right here on this river, right here, this, this river intersection. And actually, I noticed a whitetail deer out here, probably about 200 meters. And it is indeed a piebald doe. Now, this is our first whitetail that we're actually laying eyes on here, and it just so happens to be a piebald. And we have a feral hog right here to our left. I think we are going to take this doe with a rifle, considering it is a rare. I don't see nothing else around us. I am using the 6.5x55 uh, Blazer. This is a very accurate rifle. has a very nice scope to it as well. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can put a shot on this doe from over here. And she of course starts to move. That should be a good shot. She should go down relatively fast. I think she just went down. Alright guys, here is our piebald doe. First 
whitetail of the hunt. Now, it is not a buck, but, you know, me, I'm always going to shoot rares, even if they're does. Alright, guys, so I was in the southern portion of the swamp, and I noticed something that is almost too hard to pass up, and it's a feral hog. goes up to 1,040. So, I'm actually in a position of where I can actually use the rifle on this guy, because I don't think anything's going to spook this way, because I already scouted this area with my binos. So we're going to head this way anyways, so I think we're going to take this feral hog with the blazer. That should have been a good shot. He shouldn't go far at all. And I think he went down right there. Normally I wouldn't shoot anything besides whitetail during this video, but I cannot pass up a hog that goes up past a thousand, so... We haven't seen any whitetail yet, so it's not like we're scaring anything away. So we're going to go over here and pick up this guy real quick. And then after that, we may actually fast travel up to the North Lodge to give it a go. Let's see what time we got. we got one minute until we can fast travel. Really good shot with the blazer. He probably won't end up scoring a thousand, but just because the estimate went that high, I honestly couldn't pass the idea of him being a thousand scoring hog. So let's go ahead and pick him up. He weighed 194.1 and he is 927, but pretty decent still. Definitely take the bonus GMs. I'm not complaining. Alright guys, so I decided to change the time to 10 a.m. Because down here where my tent is, oddly enough, I was only coming across does after we shot that piebald doe. So I spawned up here at this northern lodge and we're gonna work our way down this border side here because I have had good luck with this border in the past. So I'm gonna cut off about right here because there's really nothing down here in this region. So we're gonna stop here and kinda of just hopefully by the time we get to the end of this peninsula right here we're gonna find some nice bucks. Alright guys, so we are here on the river side right down from the northern lodge and I come across our first buck track of the hunt. Now since this video has included basically two parts, we got the European Rabbit Guide in the first part and then we're going to do the 200 whitetail grind in the second part. I am going to cut the second part short as I did the first part to keep the video length up to par. So we're only going to be doing five bucks this go around and it looks like he's just right over here on the road. So we're going to mark him real fast and we might actually attempt to put a tree stand up because I do have a tree stand on me. Alright guys, our buck finally decided to come up underneath the stand here. Took him, seemed like, ages to get here. But he should give us a shot right now. We're going to see if we can slide that right in the spine. And we smoked him. Let's go ahead and grab our tree stand here. I think that bear is going the opposite direction. So we're going to go ahead and dismantle the tree stand. Go ahead and pick up this buck. We got an 84.1 kg and he is a 128. 66 GMs. Not bad, not bad. Alright, now we are going to loop around. Alright guys, we have our second buck of this hunt. I honestly don't know how much more of this I could take. I've literally walked this entire distance. Uh, I'm about right. to show you guys our bucks over there on that land bridge. And on the hunter's mate, that's almost 2,000 meters. And this is th the next buck that we see right here. Like, this is absolutely kind of ridiculous, in my opinion. It does not seem like this map is that underpopulated. But yeah, there's just way better options for whitetail hunting. Like I said, if you want to come here for bobcats, there are tons of bobcats here. I will possibly do the the bobcat guide here on Rugaru Bayou, but definitely not a whitetail guide. I can I can 100% for sure that. But we got this guy out here about 150 meters. He is a high rack buck, so that is a good sight to see. You got a 105 to 150 score estimate, so this is definitely not a giant whatsoever, but it is a huge sign of relief to actually see a buck, to know they exist on this map still. Yeah, we're going to take him with the blazer rifle as soon as he gives us a shot. And 
that only took us 2,000 meters to find another buck, which is absolutely outrageous. But I know that's just the spawn, but still, though, like, I feel like for crossing that amount of distance, like on Red Feather Falls or White Heart, you'd be able to really find more whitetails than that. All right, guys, this is our second buck here of the hunt. We've only had to walk about 2,000 meters for this buck, but decent high rack, I would say. You don't see these too often anymore. Let's go ahead and pick him up. He weighed 83.6 kg, and we got a 139, 72 GMs. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Apologize that it was short. I kind of combined two videos together, but... Anyways, I'm, the next guy that's coming out is going to be the Road Deer guy. That'll be on Valdebois. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you subscribe to the video and drop a like on it. It's much appreciated. And join the Discord as well. The link for that will be in the description down below. And I will see you guys later.